Hello and welcome back to another bespoke beer review for the Beer Connoisseur. Um, and in this one, we're going local. We're going to my nearest brewery. We're going to Richmond and we're off to the Richmond Brewing Company. And we have a bottle of their Station Ale. Super smashing great. Um, it says a golden coloured, fruity, crisp, clean ale brewed using the finest malt and hedgerow hops. <laughs> Um, it says Richmond Brewing Company returning the brewing tradition to Richmond for the first time in over 100 years. Situated at the Grade 2 listed Richmond Station, hence the name of the beer and the picture of Richmond Station. Right, um, this brewery is my, my local brewery. I'm always champion local breweries, but um, I've known about them for nearly 10 years now. Uh, I've had beers from them before, and I'll say they have been disappointing. Um, but I'm hoping this one will be okay. Um, I haven't had any from them for a while, and I'm hoping that the beer, the, the, there's been a change of recipe for me. Um, I've never reviewed, I've only reviewed one on this channel. So I hope it's, I hope it's really nice. That's all I can say. So, plain yellow crown. Not really getting much. A little bit of caramel to it, but not really much from the neck, to be honest. Um, got me Richmond Brewery glass, so let's whack this in. Um, so, when it comes to local beers and local ales, you know, oh, I always want to champion them on this channel but the thing is you've also got to be honest to yourself and if if something isn't right then you got to have to say it you know um might get daggers when i go in the brewery next time <laughs> might be banned from the brewery um as you can see um yeah it's like a light it's like it's like amber color to it it's a head's just completely shot his bolt and run out the door um so i'm gonna go in so cheers everyone um it's better than what i had last time um, the last time I had this beer, it was pretty bland, very bland, very tasteless, and didn't really taste of anything, to be honest. It was very, very, very warm, very thin. Um, this time round, it's very crisp, it's very clean on the palate. There is a slight gooseberryness to it, slightly malty character to it. And I can taste an improvement. Um, There's lovely gooseberry bitterness on the back end, leaving with a nice, gentle crispness. The mouthfeel is, feels very fresh. Nice little multi character to it, and I have to say, it's, it's giving me a smile on my face because it is a lot better than what I had a few years back. I think the AB, I think it was in the three percent, three and a half percent mark a few years back. I think it was, and I think it, it, something's, something's happened, I think, to the recipe. I could be wrong. Um. But yeah, not bad at all. Very sessionable. Um, I've got to say, it's 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 not really a complicated beer to taste. It's it's just got, you know, a little bit of gooseberry bitterness, clean, malty, slight hint of malty milk biscuit to it, and that's about it. So I have to say, boys and girls, um. 
it's better than what it was. It's not brilliant, but for me, this beer is heading in the right direction. So, again, it's one of them beers which I may put back on this channel in a couple of years' time for a re-review um, and see if it's any better than this one. Uh, uh, definitely. I, 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 th I think um, it's worth giving a go, I think. So, thank you very much for watching this one, boys and girls. As ever, you all stars. It's World Beer Day today. I'm going to try and stick a load of reviews up tonight. Um, so whatever you're drinking, enjoy it. And I'll see you on my next one. So cheers.